Salutation my comment, how you guys doing? Now today I'm going to be talking about the fact that um, the BBC director Tony Hall wants to ask BBC3 to save money and I'm here to say why this is a stupid, idiotic, dumb idea. Now let's face facts, the BBC is run by all white dudes, right? The BBC3 is pretty much young adults and teenage orientated. They'll just put anything on it. And a lot of people, I'm surprised, are like, oh, okay, um, go ahead, because we don't like what's on BBC3. But what people don't see, and um, the director, Tony Hall, doesn't see, is, a f is the bigger picture. The fact that since the channel is youth orientated, they don't know really what to do with it. So they'll just put anything on, so like hair shows and sun sex and suspicious parents and... and, and, and certain stuff like that. To be fair, I, I, I think a lot of people would just like the channel at least on as background noise or something like that. Now, the bigger picture that I was talking about was the fact that since this channel is youth orientated, it also allows newcomers onto television and, and, and media. I will give you an example. Um, just say you're a uni student and you graduated and you were doing something like um camera or film and you want some TV experience, so you want to work. I hardly doubt that the BBC would allow um a young graduate to, you know, operate cameras for like Doctor Who because that would be too, too big and I really doubt that they do um, news because that'll just be just be like shouting and everything and that'll panic the young person. So I think shows such as some sex and suspicious parents would allow them to get into the business with certain shows like that. Not that I'm trying to um, diss them or diminish the camera people for, for shows like that. I'm just saying it allows newcomers to, to, to progress by starting off on shows like that. As well as this, um, the fact that BBC3 is there, it allows young, young writers and young directors and stuff to take over the channel. So shows such as um, Being Human, oh I love that show, Being Human is allowed to go on that channel. You wouldn't see Being Human go on any of the other BBC channels or other channels I could actually think of. Being Human is a, is a, um, is a genre piece, like a horror, horror fantasy. And, um, but it's not family orientated. Obviously it's got um, sex, violence, and all that graphic nature but shows like Doctor Who um, which is family orientated would be allowed to go on the different BBC channels because they have a broad audience Being Human has got tons of fans it's just the fact that I can't think of any other channels that would allow at the moment that I could think of allow certain shows like that because we know that um, BBC3 is, is a platform for young people it even says it it's for um, young adults and teenagers I hopefully want to um, after I do uni want to make some creative content like a, a drama sitcom and I, I really want to um, get it televised I sort of had this kind of thought and it's like a passion project of mine and I, I really want to do it and I, I would think that BBC3 would be the right place for it I hardly doubt that BBC1 or BBC2 and, and BBC4 would allow it and, and get stuff in channel 4 is harder these days an example is uncle the tv show that was on bbc that was on bbc3 it debuted in channel 4 but they cancelled it however it was really successful in in bbc3 and they're making series 2 now um which is brilliant um i also hear the fact that um there, there's ideas of a replacement website which is like an iplayer thing i don't think that's that is a good idea myself because it's a lot more difficult for, for, for people to just access websites because of whole internet connections and, 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 and trying to like block ads and you try to get as few barriers as you can for your audience which is a lot easier for them. I know I know the website is sort of like a, a separate website iPlayer kind of thing and it may have its benefits but it also have its detriments as well so that, that is why. The BBC, they haven't thought about the bigger picture because the young people are going to take over one day and if they cancel BBC3 which is a startup for younger writers and directors and creative people they won't really have experience for that and then the future looks really dim for that I really don't want to make this video long because I just came back from college and I'm really tired I gotta do some coursework so let me know what you guys think comment below let me know I've left a link in the description box which is a which is a petition for you guys to um, if you agree with me not to cancel BBC3 that is hopefully it hope you guys enjoy this video comment like and subscribe favorite I suppose share this video with your friends and let them know what they think about this whole topic and wanting to get BBC3 cancelled or not. I really hope it does not get axed and I hope you guys agree with me with this because we're young people. Hopefully, you guys. Um, love, peace and feel gender. Okay, bye!